Hello, nice to see you again. What has happened in the last days? In the last days I did a lot of paperwork. So, you know the boat which we have bought is in Panama and the owner or the seller of the boat was a Panamasian guy and so the boat had a Panamasian flag, the flag of Panama. And I asked uh, what the advantages of having a Panama flag and the Panama flag is interesting for people who have big boats for transportation or if you do a business in Panama with boats then the Panama flag maybe is interesting but if you buy a boat like us and you buy the boat for pleasure and for having fun with it uh, you have to pay a lot of money for the Panamasian flag. It's between 1000 and 2000 US dollars per year. So my goal was to, to finish the Panamasian flag and get the Austrian one. Because I don't want to pay a lot of money every year for the flag. And sometimes our world is really crazy. This is a paper which cost me two thousand dollars two thousand US and it's only for the cancellation of registration of the flag two thousand euros for this paper here two thousand euros now I want to show you the Austrian one it is also it's only a paper with stamps and for this one for the Austrian flag I paid 150 euros once a time not every year once a time and this is a big difference 2000 US dollars 150 US dollars and now I want to ask you what's the difference between the papers only papers with stamps and people sitting and giving you stamps but that's life so yeah all in all I have a lot of papers now a map full of papers but it's okay every day we are organizing and doing the paperwork we get a little step nearer to our goal to be on the boat and have big fun so yeah that's it that's the latest news of the sailing family and now um, I want to show you with what we have done in the last days we had, we did a little uh, we did a lot of sports together the whole family we were skating on the frozen lake we went running together we went snowboarding and hiking and now i want to give you a small overview about it come on follow me Very nice way to go ice skating today. This is the place where we normally go kite surfing. <laughs> One day after skating on the frozen lake, there was sun again. Sun after I think about four weeks no sun it's really great so we decided to go for a run together
yeah, today we are on a snowboard hike with the Hu family and yeah, we are here at uh, nearby our home. It's about half an hour to go with the car and now we will hike up and we hope we have a great boarding time. Yeah. Well, some years ago, there was a little skiing resort with a cable car and a tea bar. But now, nowadays, as skiing is so expensive, and in this area, there is only sometimes wind, uh, sometimes wind, sometimes snow. So it has been closed two years ago, and now there are some slopes to go down and to go up. But no, no cable car or T-bar. It's closed. But it's good because it's a nice free ride area. It's a nice free ride area now. I want down. I want down. Vita will want to go down immediately, but we have to go up because maybe we will reach a sunny area on the top. Well, here you can see a typical. Austrian <laughs> weekend house in the Alps where people spend their time and oh, the so called Schutzhaus. <laughs> this is from the Clubhouse Union Ski Club Saint Corona. It, look, it, it looks like a uh, a surfboard. <laughs> yeah. Uh, only only four and a half months to go to Panama. Ooh, surfing, sailing, yeah. Even if we had no sun, it felt like some days before where I had sun and powder. Nevertheless, it was a nice day for the family and all enjoyed to have a ride. 